Hi guys, I'm back. Like I promised, it's late. It's a uh, eight thirty, and uh, it's dark outside already. We're going back to the winter hours. So um, like I said, I was going to do a um, uh, a pour for in case the uh, painting that I sent to uh, Andrew um, is really lost, then I'll have a backup. So um, that's why I'm going to pour this one. Um, they're pretty much my signature colors, only the yellow. I don't have the yellow in there. <clears throat> but um, I think it'll work out. So um, there's these are all Windsor and Newtons. And uh, I know there's a little mix-up because um, uh, some people are asking, you know, what to put in where and how to do it. Well, the Windsor and Newton, that is where you need your pouring medium. And a pouring medium is nothing more than something that has binders that you put in the paint that makes it thinner so you don't need to add so much uh, of water. Because adding too much water will break down the binders and that's not good for a painting. So that's why um, with the Windsor and Newton you use a pouring medium. Now a pouring medium can be made up of anything that has binders in it so that's why for the cheaper one you do uh, the PVAC glue and for the more um, the more really art stuff that you want to sell or something like that you can use a Liquitex pouring medium but I know a lot of people really don't like to use it because it's so so expensive and I understand that so the PVAC that I use is also used to bind pigments to make acrylic paint. So I'm pretty sure that's okay to use. And um, so that's what I do. It's archival, so there shouldn't be too much uh, hassle in using it. Now, um, I'm going to do a flip cup, but I don't want to uh, tilt too much, so I might do the sides, I might do that now. That's a good idea. Let's see. So I'm gonna do a little one and do the same colors and use that for the corners. And normally I don't do that. You haven't seen me do that much. So a little bit of the dark, a little bit of the blue. A little bit of this nice burnt sienna. A little bit of green. And a little bit of orange. Then we have exactly the same colors in the little cup as we have in the big cup. And I'm going to give it a tiny swirl like that. Now, putting this one in the middle, like that. I think I might want to put a little bit more of this uh, Titan, Titan buff stuff, whatever it is. Titanium buff, Titan buff, I don't know. Just a little bit like that, just to make the, uh, make the canvas a little bit more wet so I don't have to tilt too much. That's about it. That's all I can get out of this cup. And then I'm gonna get, oh, what I just did this afternoon, I was um, varnishing some stuff and I forgot to put my, um, my brush in the water, the expensive one, so it turned all hard. <laughs> oh boy. It's going to take a while before I get that one back in order. And I do, because I don't throw away expensive brushes. I hate that. Like these, they cost almost next to nothing. So if one of these goes hard, I don't really care. But, you know, if you do that with a very expensive brush, and I don't know if you, you have experience with the uh, watercolor brushes, the Kalinskis, but over here they go for, well... If you have a big size, close to a hundred dollars uh, 
for one brush. You don't want to have anything happen to those. And they are worth the money, though. They are. Because I've had one um, which I painted with for, uh, I think, about 20 years. And then my husband sometimes comes upstairs, grabs some brushes for in the garage to do some touch-ups on cars and that kind of stuff. And I think he took one of, one of my uh, expensive Kalinskis. Of course he'll say, no, I didn't touch it. No, of course not. The little gnomes came in and took it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I like that. That I really like. I'm going to let this all run out here. Want to drop there. Yeah, I like this. Woo. Now I'm going to... Uh, too bad I had to lose that. Down there. A little bit down there. I'm going to come in with the, uh, with the other one. Man, this is beautiful. Come on. Please come down. Look at that. There's my little fluffy. There it is. And I hated that that little bit here just won't work. Let's see. Yep, it's gonna come down. There it goes. See that? That helps. Now this is really beautiful. Where's my torch? Where's my torch? Now I've lost my torch. Don't know where it is. What did I do with it? I have another one. I'll have to do this one. I don't know where I left the other one. Wow, those are some awesome cells. Wow, these are awesome cells. I don't know why they are the way they are. Let's look at them. Look at that. That is beautiful. Are those perfect or what? <laughs> yeah, they are. Look at those. They are so... See the ones smack in the middle there? Look at that. They have a couple of colors. That is beautiful. I like this. This is sort of a webbing. Oh, I love everything about this one. Now, um, let me put you back up there. Let's get you a little bit, in, a little closer. Now, the one I made for Andrew had a um, had gold in it, so I pre prepared some gold. But what I'd really like to do is um, let it sit for a bit. Wow, those are beautiful. These are totally something else. I don't know why this happened. Especially this. This is beautiful. That is beautiful. That I love to pieces. Something's going to happen with this painting. I feel it. It's gonna, I'm going to drop it or something because, wow, this is amazing. Right there, they, now the colors are mixing a little. That is beautiful. So I'm looking for um, a flow in this uh, pour um, where I'm going to be putting in the gold. Now, ooh, I like it like this too. Yeah. But these cells are unreal. They are so beautiful. 
and the only thing I can think of is normally I mix my paint and I pour like within an hour and these paints were mixed this afternoon maybe that's it I'm not sure but these are super and what I'd like to do is stretch them just a little bit but I'm now I'm not going to jinx it so what I'm looking for is a a flow of something I think around here see here where it goes down and goes to the middle that's where I'm going to be putting um, small dots of gold but very small dots and just letting it like it's in this bit of uh, the pour because this is the most appealing I think of the uh, the whole thing I really like that but if I put in the gold now I'm pretty sure it's going to let's see if it will work I'm pretty sure it's going to go down. Yeah, it's not staying nice and round like I hoped, so I think I'll have to wait for it to um, to dry just a little bit. And this stuff will stay in the syringe. It won't dry out that fast. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go around here, up here. And over there. So I'm going to make a little bit of room. And that's where I'm going to put it. That's it. Okay, I didn't drop it. That's good. Now I have some beautiful drip off here, and that's what I'm going to be playing with now. So this is a little bit too big, so I'm going to take the half of it like that, and I think I'll use what's left in the cup. Just like that. That by itself is pretty awesome. Look at that. It's kind of pretty, but I want a lot of turquoise in this one. So let me get a clean cup so I can rest it on like that. Oh, you can't see anything, can you? Sorry about that. So I'm taking a little bit more of the turquoise. That is a sort of a little piece of art right by itself there. I kind of like that. Okay, putting it on top, doing a little squishy, and pulling it apart. Wow, I love those colors. These are beautiful. Oh, come on, please. That's kind of cool. Oh, I love this bit here. I'll give you close-ups in a bit. I'll just put them down here. Now this one, that's kind of cool too. Oh, this is the broken one. But not really, really, I'm not really into it. I, I do like them, but very small pieces that I really like. So I think I'll have to kick it up a notch uh, with the colors. So taking the last out of here. Oh, I just watched a new series 
it's always American series that I watch, so um, you can see that too. It's called Second Chance. It was a cool series. The father was a sheriff and he was 75 years old and um, <clears throat> he lived for his uh, job and, you know, didn't do much with his children. So he's 75, then uh, someone breaks into his son's house and they, uh, they force him to jump off a bridge so that it looks like suicide because the person that broke in the house was a person that worked with his son. Then all of a sudden he's back because someone was experimenting with, I don't know, DNA and stuff. So they brought him back. But then all of a sudden he's like 40 years younger. And it is a fun series. It really is. I liked it. And the name is Second Chance. So, if you want something cool to watch, you can watch that. A little bit dark. I like when the dark gives it here and there a little bit more contrast. Now, all we do is place the yupo on top, do a little squishy, and pull it apart. Ooh, yeah. Okay, this one first. This is going to give us some... Uh, see that? I knew that. I knew it would work like this. This is wow. This is awesome. This is really beautiful. You see it? Now that that's going to make a couple of really cool pendants. Now the other one... I don't want to put it on there too long because I don't want the paint to burn or anything. Well, this one uh, is kind of nice, but I like the other one better. So let's put that aside. Let's do one more. Half of this. Now I'm going to use some brighter colors. There we go. And I'm going to put in some gold. There's some gold. And I hope it's going to pop up when we squish it. That's a little bit too much squishy. Whew. Ooh, but it sure did pop up. That is really beautiful. That's going to be a really pretty pendant, if you like orange, that is. <laughs> okay, put that one down there. Clean my glove a little bit. This one I have to torch just a little bit longer. Isn't it funny that you have two exactly the same pieces and one turns out better than the other? This one's okay. I can get some pretty uh, pieces out of this, but I like the other one better. Okay, one more. I could do this all, uh, all night. <laughs> Okay, let's take some off here. That'd be cool. Do some squishy. Sometimes this is pretty. Not always, though. Yeah, this one's pretty. That looks like some uh, sort of stone. See all the cells? 
That is pretty. Put that down there. Make that, this one dry. But this one, we want some gold. Yes, we do. Put a little worm on there. And another piece of yippo. And I'm going to squish it. Squish it, squish it, squish it. Oops. Sometimes you just can't get a grip on it. Like now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. Looks like uh, a butterfly. That is beautiful. And this one has the gold in it. There's no gold on the other. Uh, a little bit. That is kind of cool. So put my coffee on the other side. There it is. And this one. Now, if you're really into jewelry making, as you could see how many I've already made, I made two, four, six, eight, nine pieces. That's a lot. And now I'm going to do one, and I'm only going to swipe it. So I'm going to put the paint on there. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is kind of nice. You know what the thing is, when I swipe it, it'll just become... Ooh, a hair. One of mine. It'll just uh, become uh, more greenish. So we want to watch out that we don't do that. Maybe just here to fill up the yuppo. There we go. And I will torch it. Yep, we're going to keep this one too. some of the paint come down making the cells a little bit bigger but this is beautiful it is look at it I can uh, really imagine taking out that bit taking out this long bit here that's gonna be cool and oh I have a lot of room to put them Let's see, let's do one more. And then I'm gonna go downstairs, help my husband. We got paint. The new paint came in today and the watercolor came in. So that's pretty exciting. Put some of this on here. So I got every single color they have, so that's going to be really interesting tomorrow. Because I'm going to try some of that out. Hmm. Not really impressed with this, but let's see what it does. Nah. Not really. Let's put some dark in there. What I kind of like is when you put in the dark and the orange pops up. That's what I like. Let's see what happens there. Oh, this thing is broke. That is kind of cool, that brown there is cool, but still not satisfied. So, 
then you just pop it on again do a little squishy squishy and pull it apart Ooh, that's gonna be cool this one this side look at that Wow, that one's cool. That is beautiful. That, that has a lot of pieces that I really like. Just putting it down there. And the last one, and then I'm going to stop because I, I don't have that much room. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to buy a new torch because I don't want this one to give up on me. It's already half broken. I have to whack it on the table to get it started. Okay, going to take you guys down and show you what I turned them into. Okay, we'll start here. Look at that. That is awesome, isn't it? That is beautiful. Then, let's see if I can get rid of that glitter. There you go. So what you have to think of is uh, really small, small pieces. Let me get you in a layer closer for the people who want the screenshots. Ooh, this is going to be a long video again. Sorry about that. I'm <laughs> not really. I'm not sorry. But as you can see how many beautiful, beautiful pieces you can get out of um, the leftover paint. And how different, just by the way you put the paints on the, on the Yupo. Look at that, I love this one. These are my colors. They are so beautiful. With that turquoise in the middle. This is another one. Love this one too. This one is awesome with the dark. And that's it. So, oh yeah, I forgot again about the uh, sponsor list. Well, I was really uh, anxious for doing the pour. Um, I'm going to be back up in about an hour when the paint sets a little bit. And then I'll be adding the, uh, the gold. So, to everyone. And then I'll look at the, uh, at the previous one. The one that I'm going to replace this one with. If it's not totally like it, I might do another one tomorrow. Because these are some awesome colors. So, uh, so how are you doing, guys? Why doesn't anyone talk to me? Because I can't hear you. Maybe you have to talk a little bit louder. No, I can't uh, hear you, so I'll be having a little zip of my coffee. Yep, that's it. And I'm thinking if I need to show you something else. I thought of something this afternoon and now all of a sudden I forgot. I don't know. Oh yeah. I got really, really beautiful transfers to put on um, put on the backgrounds. I have a really big lobster, which I'm going to uh, use the primary elements to zest it up. And I have uh, a couple of seahorses for the little ones. And that's going to be awesome. Oh, and I have no... You have to help me. Maybe I'll do a super chat tomorrow so you can really talk to me because I also have a really big Nautilus. Na Nautilus? You know, one of those shells that go round and round and round. They are so beautiful. I love that too. So maybe I'll, I'll do a chat tomorrow and you guys to, can um, help me decide what to put on there. The lobster or the, or the shell. Okay. Okay. So thank you all for watching. I'm going to put all these little Yubos on the uh, radiator for the night. Tomorrow they'll be dry. And um, 
I might even make some of them into jewelry this weekend, but I still have to finish the other ones. I'll show them once more how beautiful they are. There they are. With a little bit of light catching them, they look really, really awesome. So thank you all for watching, guys. For the people that still have an evening left, have a good evening. And of course, I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. So sleep tight. Don't let the bear bugs bite. And see you later. Bye-bye.